Golden cough? Golden cough? Jay and today I'm here with my most anticipated releases for April 2019. I have a total of five on my list today and as usual we tried to pick the not so popular books because nobody wants to hear about the same five books on everybody's channel over and over again so without further ado let us get started. So I will say that I do have one book that is a pretty popular new release but it's on my list because it is the sequel to one of my favorite books from 2018, so it needed to be included, but it is King of Fools by Amanda Foody, and this is to be released April 30th, 2019, and like I said, it is the sequel to Ace of Shades. This is going to be the second book in the Shadow Games trilogy, and I'm just super duper excited to see Anne and Levi again, and Jack, and Lola, and just that whole cast of characters. I just want to see where the story takes them. I also have an e-arc of this so I'm actually in the middle of reading it right now and I'm only about 100 pages in and I'm already in love with the story so definitely check it out when it's actually released. Next book I have I think sounds so cool. It is called Little Darlings by Melanie Golding and this is also to be released on April 30th 2019 and this follows a woman named Lauren who gives birth to twins named Riley and Morgan and she is very excited about this but also very exhausted. Then one day something tries to kidnap her boys and replace them with these creatures that are out of a twisted fairy tale and nobody believes her that this happens but Lauren is convinced that these are not her babies and thus her story begins and I'm just here for fairy tale retellings, especially when it's like a horror fairy tale retelling kind of thing. I'm just super excited about this and from the reviews that are on Goodreads already, it's really highly rated so I'm very very intrigued by this one. The next book I have is called Before She Was Found. This is by Heather Gudinkoff and this is to be released on April 16th, 2019. It follows three 12 year olds who are having a sleepover one night and they decide that they are going to take a little excursion to the abandoned railroads outside of town. Later that night, one of the girls named Cora is found on the tracks, bloody, clinging to life, and her friends are nowhere to be found. This launches an investigation of who would want to hurt Cora and who is behind this attack, and it's basically like that investigation but it sounds really interesting apparently the friends are like being super shady about what happened that night and i am just here for it we want to know what happened to cora like were the friends behind it did somebody else come we don't know but we want to find out the next book that i have is called how not to ask a boy to prom and this is by sj gosley this is to be released april 23rd 2019 and we all know i always have like one contemporary book on my list just to split up all the thrillers that i usually have so this is my contemporary book this follows 16 year old nolan grant who has never had a boyfriend he's never been kissed he's very inexperienced in that aspect of life. So his older sister Daphne decides to plan this elaborate promposal for him in order to ask out his crush. Things go terribly wrong so bad boy Byrne decides that he is going to put Nolan out of his misery and agree to fig date him in order to put him out of this embarrassing situation. The only problem is that Byrne's ex-girlfriend is very not happy about this new development and is going to seek revenge most likely. And I just think that it sounds really cute. We love the fake date trope on this channel, so I'm just super excited about this. Also, like LGBTQ plus content, we're here for it. And then the final book that I have, I actually have a physical copy of it that was sent to me for review. So thank you so much to Macmillan for sending me this. I'm super excited about it. It is Last Girl Lied To by L.E. Flynn, and this is supposed to be released April 16th. 2019 and I'm just so excited about this. It follows a girl named Fiona whose best friend Trixie's death was ruled a suicide but Fiona is not convinced that this is the case. She thinks that there's more to the story. So she pairs up with Trixie's former friends with benefits named Jasper and Bo who is the one boy that turned Fiona down and they go on this little witch hunt to figure out what really happened with Trixie. And when secrets are revealed, Fiona is convinced that Trixie is not actually dead and 
and she's just missing and wants to stay missing and it's basically the story of that but I think it sounds real good. I'm really excited to see what it's all about. Also I've talked to this author on Twitter before and she's just like the sweetest thing ever so we want to support, you know, but very excited for this one. Alright guys, so that was my most anticipated releases for April 2019. Let me know down below if you plan on reading any of these or a couple of books that you are excited for this April and without further... And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!